So let us continue to pray for our members to not to stop worshipping God even though they are at home. In the view of the current situation, our online messages will be posted as much as possible so that those of you who are not here today, you can watch online our messages and our worship so that you continue to be a part of a fellowship even though you cannot be here. As this scare of coronavirus goes throughout the world, we need to make some sense out of it. We cannot be simply staying with fear or anxiety. We need to have some intelligent understanding of what is happening in the world. हम क्रिस्ट यीशु में विश्वास करने वालों को भी ये पता होना चाहिए कि ये क्या हो रहा है ए बिब्लिकल रिस्पांस हमारे साथ होना चाहिए सो दैट वी डू नॉट लिव इन फियर और पैनिक इन द सेम लाइन देयरफॉर आई वांट टू शेयर विद यू दैट देयर इज कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस और देयर आर कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ रिजेक्टिंग द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड आज दुनिया में परमेश्वर का वचन को लोग तिरस्कार करते हैं तो उसका परिणाम है सो इन द सेम वे एज वी सी द फियरफुल सिचुएशन थ्रू आउट द वर्ल्ड व्हाट इज हैपनिंग ये क्या हो रहा है दुनिया में इतने लोग डर क्यों रहे हैं ये वायरस से बिकॉज सबसे पहले फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द फर्स्ट मैन रिजेक्टेड गॉड एंड ही ब्रॉट सिन एंड डेथ इन द वर्ल्ड देर इज कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ रिजेक्टिंग गॉड and his word nobody can escape the consequences of rejecting god parmeshwar ka vachan ko inkar karne se koi bhi baaki nahi rahega kahin na kahin usko uska mulya bhugtana padega first man adam ne parmeshwar ki vachan ko inkar kar diya to paap aur mrtyu lekar wo aaya uske baad god chose the nation of israel but israel rejected god and because of that they came under the curse of the law israel ne parmeshwar ka vachan ko inkar kar diya to vyavastha ke sare shrap ke niche wo log aaye the iske baad the whole world rejected god's word and god left them in the futility of their sinful thinking sare duniya ne parmeshwar ka vachan ko inkar kar diya isliye aaj parmeshwar ne duniya ko unki paap wali sochon mein chhod diya hai the world is free today god is not controlling their thinking because they rebelled against god they rejected the word of god and because of that god has abandoned the world in the futility of their thinking in the same way therefore today we see how the world is so terrified even a greatest nation powerful nation the president had to call upon god and the sunday march 15 he said let us have the day of prayer national day of prayer because there is no other place where we can look for help the america sabse shaktishali rashtr hai wo keh raha hai ki hum parmeshwar ki aur dekhe aur prarthna kare ki is ye calamity se bachne ke liye hamare paas dusra rasta nahi hai only god can deliver us in the same line सबसे पहले वी विल सी हाउ गॉड चोज द नेशन ऑफ इसराइल थ्रू एब्राहम ही कॉल्ड एब्राहम एंड से एब्राहम आई वॉन्ट यू टू कम बिलीव मी थ्रू यू आई एम गो ब्रिंग ब्लेसिंग टू द रेस्ट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड एब्राहम मेरे पास आओ मेरे बचन को सुनो और तेरे जीवन से मैं सारे दुनिया को आशीष देने वाला हूँ सो आउट ऑफ एब्राहम केम द नेशन ऑफ इसराइल एंड द नेशन ऑफ इसराइल वॉज सपोज टू बी द लाइट टू द नेशन द रीजन गॉड चोज इसराइल वॉज दैट दे विल ब्रिंग लाइट to those nations who were living in darkness they would draw all people back to god israel ko permission ne isliye chuna ki wo sare duniya ke liye prakash bane jyoti bane roshni bane aur sare andhkar mein rehne wale desh parmeshwar ki aur aaye lekin israel koi jyoti banne ke liye permission unhe vyavastha diya god gave them the law so that they will be different than the other nations other nations were living in rebellion against god and god said i'm going to give you laws and if you obey the law you will receive blessing if you disobey the law you will come under curse duniya ke sare desh parmeshwar ke khilaf mein hai srishtikarta ko chhod kar srishti ka puja kar rahe hain isliye maine tumhe vyavastha di hai 
जिसके द्वारा तुम लोग मेरी आराधना और स्तुति प्रश्न करके सारे लोगों को परमेश्वर की ओर लेकर आना लेकिन इस व्यवस्था को अगर तुम पालन करोगे तो आशीष नहीं तो श्राप तुम्हारे जीवन में आएगा कहकर परमेश्वर ने इसराइल को भी कह दिया सो विद लाइन ड्यूट्रोनोमी चैप्टर ट्वेंटी इज द समरी ऑफ गॉड्स ब्लेसिंग एंड क्रशस गॉड गेव दिम द लॉ and he said i want you to be the light to the nations i want to bless you through you i want to bring all the nations back to you and you must obey the law but israel rebelled against god parmeshwar ke khilaf mein israeliyon ne apne pair ko aage chadhaya aur parmeshwar ka vyavastha ko ullanghan kar diya aur us vyavastha ke sare summary uh vyavastha ki kitab ka 28 mein pura diya gaya hai usme teen bhag mein vibhajit hai The curse of the law is divided into three parts: plague, famine, war. Diseases, poverty, bondage or enemy will take over you. In the prophets, all throughout the prophetic books, whenever the nation of Israel rebelled against God, they suffered under plague, then there came famine, and then they were taken into captivity by enemy nations. Israel के इतिहास में हम देखते हैं सारे अगमबक्ताओं के किताब में हम देखते हैं कि जब जब इसराइल परमेश्वर के खिलाफ में चला तो वहाँ परमेश्वर ने अनिक प्लेग्स महामारी फैलाई और उसके बाद अनिकाल वहाँ पे आया और युद्ध में इनकी पराजय होती थी ये तीन भाग में विभाजित है व्यवस्था के सरा साफ टुडे वी विल सी हाउ इवन कोरोना वायरस टाइप ऑफ डिजीज आर इंक्लूडेड इन द कर्स सो जो आज दुनिया में ऐसा फैला रहा है ये रोग कोई नई चीज नहीं है दिस इज नॉट अ न्यू थिंग इट हैज हैपन मेनी मेनी टाइम्स एवरी टाइम द वर्ल्ड गोज अगेंस्ट गॉड टू फार अवे गॉड यूज आई द फैमिन और प्लेग और वॉर और डिजास्टर और समथिंग टू ड्रॉ पीपल्स अटेंशन बैक टू हिम विद दैट लाइन लेट अस रीड ड्यूट्रोनोमी चैप्टर ट्वेंटी वर्स ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी poverty diseases and bondage these things keep repeating in the life of those people who reject the word of god so in the same line i'm asking you to think that there is a consequences of rejecting the word of god in your personal life also in your national life also even the whole world hamare vyaktigat jeevan mein hamare desh mein aur sare duniya mein अगर परमेश्वर का वचन का इनकार कोई करता है तो उसका परिणाम भुगतना पड़ेगा कोई भी इसके बाहर नहीं है सो वी विल रीड फर्स्ट अबाउट द डिजीज लेट एस रीड ट्वेंटी टू ट्वेंटी टू द लॉर्ड विल सेंड ऑन यू कर्स कंफ्यूजन एंड रिब्यूक इन एवरीथिंग यू पुट योर हैंड टू अंटिल यू आर डिस्ट्रॉयड एंड कम टू सडन रोइन बिकॉज ऑफ द इविल यू हैव डन इन फॉर शेकिंग हिम for seeking the laws of god for seeking the word of god for seeking god himself 21 the lord will plague you with diseases until he has destroyed you from the land you are entering to possess this is talking to the nation of israel how israel was supposed to be the light to the nations israel was supposed to show the path to the nations to come back to god but they themselves rejected and god said he's going to plague them 22 the lord will strike you with wasting diseases it's a known diseases with fever inflammation with scorching heat and drought with blight and mildew which will plague you until you perish up to 68 you will see the description of these kind of diseases there is consequence for rejecting god no one can escape these consequences So 20 to 22, we see diseases of all kind. This is just a summary, and then the description would follow up to verse 68. Secondly, we see Deuteronomy 28 to 23 to 4. This is talking about famine. It talks the sky over your head will be bronze. That means there will be no rain. The ground beneath you iron. When there is no rain, everything will be dried out. The Lord will turn the rain of your country into dust and powder. It will come down from the sky until you are destroyed. There will be no vegetation. Verse twenty to twenty-two talks about the diseases. 
डिटोनमी व्यवस्था अट्ठाईस का बीस से बाईस तक हर प्रकार के रोग और महामारी दुनिया में फैलाएंगी और उसके बाद 23 टू 24 में अनिकाल जहां खाने के लिए कुछ भी नहीं होगा बिकॉज इसराइल रिजेक्टेड गॉड्स वर्ल्ड इसराइल ने परमेश्वर का व्यवस्था उल्लंघन कर दिया इनकार कर दिया उसके कारण तुम्हारे जीवन में ये आएगा कि अगर परमेश्वर चेतावनी दे रहा है हजारों साल पहले देन वी कम टू द एरिया ऑफ वॉर और शोर्ड और बॉन्डिज दुश्मनों के हाथ में तुम रोग खत्म हो जाओगे इस तरह 25 में द लॉर्ड विल कॉज यू टू बी डिफीटेड बिफोर योर एनिमीज यू विल कम एट देम फ्रॉम वन डायरेक्शन बट फ्ली फ्रॉम देम इन सेवन एंड यू विल बिकम अ थिंग ऑफ हॉरर टू ऑल द किंगडम्स ऑन अर्थ ऑल काइंड ऑफ कॉन्फ्लिक्ट इन वॉर एंड बॉन्डेस एंड कैप्टिविटी इज आल्सो द कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस ऑफ रिजेक्टिंग गॉड परमेश्वर का बचन को जो कोई इनकार करेगा वहां पे हर प्रकार के दुश्मन आएंगे एनिमिटी आएगी बंधन होगा कैद में वो लोग चले जाएंगे दिस इज हाउ आई वॉन्ट यू टू ड्रॉ योर अटेंशन हाउ गॉड हैड वॉन्ट द नेशन ऑफ इसराइल एंड थ्रू द नेशन ऑफ इसराइल ही इज ऑल्सो वॉर्निंग द होल नेशन एज ही वॉन्टेड द नेशन ऑफ इसराइल टू बी द लाइट now the nation of israel is a warning to the nations there will be diseases of all kind there will be poverty there will be war and bondage but the problem is no one could obey the law perfectly to avoid these kind of curses god gave them the law and no one could obey the law that means everyone who disobeyed the law came under these curses and the world today is reeling under the bondage of this kind of curses because nobody can ever fulfill the law but if god said something in his word it will come true therefore because man could not obey the law duniya mein parmeshwar ka vyavastha ko palan karne ke liye koi bhi aadmi saksham nahi ho ho paaye there is no one koi bhi parmeshwar ka vachan ka puri tarah palan nahi kar payega व्यवस्था का पालन नहीं कर पाएगा अगर व्यवस्था का पालन नहीं होगा तो वहां पे श्राप जरूर आएगा कोई भी व्यवस्था उल्लंघन करेगा तो व्यवस्था के सारे श्रापों का भागीदार वो बनेगा तो क्या करे शो दैट बिकॉज ऑफ दिस इनेबिलिटी ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग गॉड सेंट हिज सन टू फुलफिल द लॉ एंड पे द पेनल्टी ऑफ डिसोबीडियंस that is when we say god so loved the world that he gave his own and only begotten son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so today every now and then we see the news the moment you turn on the television you see corona virus corona virus people are afraid they are unable to go out how can we make sense of this situation sare duniya dar rahi hai hamare बिब्लिकल रेस्पॉन्स क्या है बाइबल क्या कहती है हम ये कह रहे हैं कि ये सारे दुनिया में जो दुख है जो बीमारियां है जो महामारियां फैल रही है जो युद्ध हो रहा है जहां अशांति है आतंकवाद है देश देश के विरुद्ध में लड़ रहे हैं ये सब परमेश्वर का वचन को इनकार करने का परिणाम है सो ये नए नए रोग निकल के आएंगे आज से पहले भी आए थे जब तक यीशु में से वापस लौट कर नहीं आएंगे तब तक ऐसा होता ही रहेगा क्योंकि दिस इज अ कॉन्सिक्वेंस ऑफ रिजेक्टिंग द वर्ड ऑफ गॉड वी विल नेवर स्केप बट दिस गॉड इज अमेजिंग ही सेंट हिज सन सो दैट ही विल टेक ऑल द कर्सेस अपॉन हिमसेल्फ एंड देन ही विल मेक द ब्लेसिंग्स अवेलेबल फॉर अस जीजस क्राइस्ट केम टू फुलफिल द लॉ we could not fulfill the law. no one could fulfill the law but jesus fulfilled the law for us so that today those of us who accept christ jesus as our sacrifice for sin we become free from the curse of the law aaj jo koi yeshu masih ko swikar karega ki wo mera paap se mujhe bachane wala mukti data hai to wo aadmi wo person wo insaan व्यवस्था का श्रापों से मुक्त हो जाता है 
आज हमने यीशु मसीह में क्यों विश्वास किया क्योंकि मैं पापी था मेरे पापों से मुझे मुक्ति दिलाने वाला एक ही व्यक्ति है वो है यीशु मसीह और उसको जब मैं अपने दिल में मुक्तिदाता कहकर स्वीकार करूं तो मुझे वो सारे व्यवस्था के श्रापों से मुक्त कर देगा व्यवस्था के श्राप क्या है डिजीज ऑफ ऑल काइंड पॉवर्टी एंड बॉन्डेज और एनिमिटी All suffering in the world is caused by these things: famine, or kind of natural disaster, and plagues and diseases of all kind, then war. If the whole humanity was living in peace, there will be so much less suffering. As dekhi, Madhya Pradesh me, Israel se lekar North Africa me, Syria, Iran, Iraq, North Korea. people are suffering so much because of war all is the consequences of man rebelling against god so as we see these things as we see war as we see famine as we see plagues and mahamaris we don't have to be so threatened or frightened or scared because these are going to happen these are part of human history they'll keep happening but the god who created man has not left us absolutely at the mercy of the curse of the law he has made a plan for us that he sent his son to die for us so that today if we accept jesus christ we are free from the curse of the law we have to believe that har ek jo koi masih mein hai yeshu masih mein vishwas karta hai to usko ye nishchit roop le vishwas karna padega ki main vyavastha ke sara shrapon se mukt ho chuka hu aur parmeshwar ka vachan ko inkar karne ke karan jo parinam mere jeevan mein aaya tha usse bhi main mukt ho chuka hu christians are free from the bondage of war or enmity they are free from the diseases they are free from poverty how do we know Let us see. Galatians 3:13 में कहता है, it says, Christ redeemed us from the curse of the law by becoming a curse for us. For it is written, curse is everyone who is hung on a pole. That means on a cross, on a tree. He redeemed us in order that the blessing given to Abraham might come to the Gentiles through Christ Jesus, so that by faith we might receive the promise of the Holy Spirit. You have to take this very seriously. that i have been redeemed from the curse of the law har ek jo masih mein vishwas karega use ye bahut gambhirta se lena padega ki main vyavastha ke shraap se mukt ho chuka hu kyunki yeshu masih mere liye shraap bane sare shraap parmeshwar ka vachan ko inkar karne ka jo parinam tha parmeshwar ke vyavastha ke ulanghan hone ke karan aaye hue jo shraap the sare यीशु मसीह ने खुद के ऊपर ले लिया और मुझे सारे श्रापों से मुक्ति दिलाकर आशीष के भागीदार बना दिया एंड द ब्लेसिंग गिवन टू अब्राहम माइंड कम टू द जेंटाल थ्रू क्राइस्ट सो दैट टूडे वी आर द रेसिपियंट ऑफ द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ इब्राहम इब्राहम वॉज अ फ्रेंड ऑफ गॉड इब्राहम वॉज जस्टिफाइड बाय फेथ and those in the same galatian chapter if you read from verse 7 he says if we believe like abraham believed we become abraham's children and if we are abraham's children then we are the recipients of the blessings god gave to abraham and he was free from the curse of the law so are we free from the curse of the law through jesus christ yesu masih mein jo koi aap vishwas karte hain to hamare dil mein ye nishchit hona chahiye कि मैं व्यवस्था के श्रापों से मुक्त हुआ इंसान हूं वट काइंड ऑफ प्रोमिस डू वी हैव टू क्लेम सच थिंग हाउ डू वी नो आई एम फ्री फ्रॉम डिजीज हाउ डू आई नो आई एम फ्री फ्रॉम द प्लेग्स एंड एन ऑल काइंड ऑफ पैंडेमिक्स लुक एट हियर मैथ्यू सिक्स एट वर्स सिक्सटीन सेवनटीन में कहता है वेन इवनिंग केम many who were demon possessed were brought to him and he drove out the spirit with the word and healed all the sick this was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet isaiah he took up our infirmities and bore our diseases yesu masih ne 
हमारे लिए अपने शरीर में हमारे कमजोरिया का साथ साथ सारे बीमारियां भी ले लिए हैं He took upon himself. He fulfilled what Isaiah was talking about. And then in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 24 maybe, we are today healed by the stripes of Jesus. He was wounded for our healing. So when Jesus bore the wounds upon his body, he was bearing the effect of the curse of the law that would come upon the people who reject the law of God. But those who accept him as Lord and Savior, he has taken the effect of that curse upon his own body, just as he took upon the curses. He has taken the diseases also. So even though we are facing coronavirus threat, we can still say, Lord Jesus, you were wounded for my healing. Therefore, I don't have to live in fear. Even if I catch coronavirus, I don't have to be afraid because God is my healer. I am healed by the stripes of Jesus Christ. He was wounded for my healing. So, sabse pehle, bevastha ke sraab mein aate the bimariyan, rog. Lekin Yeshu Masih ne apne sarir ke upar, krus mein, humare rog aur bimariyon ko utha liya hai. Aur hume puri tarah apne ghael huye sariru ke dwara changa ki asis di hai. Uske baad, secondly, we see poverty. 2 Corinthians chapter 8 verse 9. Look at here, how clearly it says, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that you through his poverty might become rich. Diseases, poverty and bondage are the result of rejecting the word of God, disobeying the laws of God. They come under the curse of the law, but Jesus has taken away the curse from us, curse of sickness and diseases, and now even the curse of poverty he took upon himself. He became poor so that through his poverty we would be free from the curse of the law and we would have the blessings of Abraham that he will supply all our need. And that's when he said, don't worry for what you will eat, what you will wear and what you will drink. But seek first the kingdom of God and all these things will be added unto you. Because you've been free from the curse of poverty. Your heavenly father will take care of your physical or material needs. God will supply all that we need. If you read the whole chapter, we see how God is able to supply our needs according to his richness and glory. That's why I want to understand this in Hindi. I want to say that the Lord has put our disease and disease on the Lord Jesus so that we could be healed. The Lord has put our poverty on the Lord Jesus so that we could be rich in a sense. We would not have to live in need and scarcity. We are poor and poor. नहीं रहना है आज यीशु मसीह में विश्वास करने वालों के लिए यीशु मसीह वचन देता है कि खाने के लिए चिंता मत करो पीने के लिए चिंता मत करो पहनने के लिए चिंता मत करो लेकिन परमेश्वर का राज्य और उसकी धार्मिकता को ढूंढो और सारे चीज मैं तुम्हें दूंगा बिकॉज यू बिन फ्री फ्रॉम पॉवर्टी वी हैव टू क्लेम दीज प्रोमिस We have to believe these promises. As both are Isai log garib hai, bimari mein hai, kyunki hum swikar karte nahi, vishwas karne ke liye pehle hume dil mein isko vishwas hona chahiye, uske baad moh se isko swikar karna chahiye. Hum bolte nahi, kabhi kahte is, aise varshon ko hume yaad hi nahi hota hai, ki 2 Corinthians 8, 9 mein kaha hai, ki Yeshu Masi mere liye garib bane, aur unki garibi ke karan, as mein amir ban gaya hon, is tarah hum bol bhi nahi sakte hai. लेकिन बोलना चाहिए यीशु मसीह ने मेरे सारे रोग अपने ऊपर ले लिए इसलिए आज मैं रोगी होना आवश्यक नहीं है क्योंकि मैं व्यवस्था के श्राप से मुक्त हो चुका हूं हमें बोलना चाहिए वी हैव टू स्पीक फ्रॉम आर माउथ द बाइबल सेज वी बिलीव इन द हार्ट एंड वी आर सेव एंड वी कन्फेस विथ आर माउथ एंड वी आर जस्टिफाइड अगर दिल में सिर्फ है तो मुंह में यह निकलता नहीं तो यह विश्वास नहीं बनेगा वी हैव टू बिलीव एंड वी हैव स्पीक इट आउट So even in the midst of this uh, worldwide fear of a disaster, we need to speak the word of God. 
we need to accept the word of god not reject it and then we need to speak it out god the world may collapse but your word will remain i put my trust in your word not in my own wisdom or knowledge so parmeshwar ne hame yeshu masi dwara garibi se mukti dila diya hai uske baad we see enmity dushman in vyavastha ki kitab mein kaha ki tumhare dushman agar tum mere vachan ko manoge to tumhare dushman tumhe aakraman karne ke liye ek rasta se aayenge aur jab tumhe wo aakraman karte samay itna dar jaye wo saat rasta mein bhagte chale jayenge they will come in one way but they will run in seven different directions because i will protect you that was the promise given to us in the same way look at how jesus gave us authority over our the real enemy who is our enemy hamare dushman manushya nahi hai bible kehti hai ki hamari ladai flesh or blood ke sath nahi hai our enemy is not human being our enemy is the devil and look at how jesus gave us authority he replied to the disciples यहाँ पे यीशु मसीह के चेले सारे जगह में जाकर सुसमस प्रसार किया और दुष्ट आत्मा को भूतात्मा को निकल रहे थे तब आकर यीशु मसीह कहा प्रभु आपके नाम में सारे दुष्ट आत्मा निकल चले गए तब यीशु ने कहा आई सो सेटन फॉल लाइक लाइटनिंग फ्रॉम हेवन सेतन का पतन हो चुका मैंने देखा आई हैव गिवन यू अथॉरिटी टू ट्रैम्पल ऑन स्नेक्स एंड स्कॉपियंस ये दुष्ट आत्मा की चित्र है स्नेक्स एंड स्कॉपियंस एंड टू ओवरकम ऑल द पावर ऑफ द एनमी नथिंग विल harm you we have to believe that god has given us absolute power over satan aaj har ek masih ko ye vishwas karna hai ki satan mere pass mein hai can you believe that the devil who destroyed the whole humanity jesus said i have given you all power and authority over satan and nothing can he do to you absolute victory we are free from bondage the devil cannot put us in bondage the devil or demonic spirit cannot bring us in in kind of a, a miserable state because we have been given power and authority in jesus christ the enemy can come but it will run in seven different directions as bahut sare isai log bhutatma se darte hain rasta mein अंधेरा हो गया तो वो डर जाते हैं कब्रिस्तान में जाते हैं तो डर जाते हैं कोई मुर्दा है तो वहां पे डरते हैं क्यों क्योंकि उनको विश्वास ही नहीं कि यीशु मसीह ने आज हमें शैतान की सारे शक्ति के ऊपर शक्ति दी है तो डरने के कारण खुद का जीवन में वो शैतान के लिए जगह बनाते हैं लेकिन हमें डरना नहीं क्योंकि शैतान का कोई अधिकार है नहीं हमारे ऊपर द डेवल हैज नो राइट ओवर अस एब्सोल्यूट पावर इज गिवन टू अस बट मेनी क्रिस्टियंस आर अफ्रेड ऑफ डिमोनिक स्पिरिट दे आर अफ्रेड ऑफ गोस्ट दे आर इवन अफ्रेड ऑफ द डेड बॉडी दे कैन नॉट टच द डेड बॉडी और दे कैन नॉट गो टू द ग्रेव दे लिव इन फियर बिकॉज दे डू नॉट बिलीव दैट गॉड हैज गिवन अस एब्सोल्यूट पावर बट द रियालिटी इज दैट इन जीजस क्राइस्ट we have been given power over all the powers of the enemy so if you are afraid of the ghost you don't believe in the power god has given to you we are so powerful human being now if we walk into a certain house if there are demonic spirit they can run away no ghost can stand against a believer because we are free from the curse of the law and we've been given power and authority if you have this kind of faith in the son of god who set us free from the curse of the law now okay listen carefully ab now you see the whole old testament becomes wonderful assurance of our victory in christ now we can go back to psalms and the prophetic promises in the old testament and claim them by faith like abraham did in the old testament wonderful promises are there read through the psalms and proverbs read in the book of job and many of the prophet god has promised read isaiah jeremiah ezekiel wonderful promises are given to those who believe in the lord jesus christ for example you go to psalm 23 the lord is my shepherd 
परमेश्वर मेरा चरवाह है मृत्यु की और इवन दो आई वॉक थ्रू द वैली ऑफ शैड ऑफ डेथ आई विल फियर नो इवल दैट प्रोमिस विल बी ओनली एप्लीकेबल टू दोज हु हैव एक्सेप्टेड जीजस क्राइस्ट एज देयर लॉर्ड एंड सेवियर because jesus has fulfilled the law and therefore now we are free from the curse of the law and now we can claim those promises for ourselves and now especially these days you see many many christians are citing psalm 91 it is a psalm that gives us protection against plagues and uh, pestilences and it says no plague will come near your house no pestilence will come neither the daytime nor the night time God will hide you under his wings. That is a wonderful psalm to claim. But that psalm will only be effective if you have accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior and through him you have fulfilled the law. You are free from the curse of the law. Without believing in what Jesus has done for us, we cannot simply claim the Old Testament promises and hope them to come true in our life but if you have accepted christ you have become a child of abraham and if you believe like abraham did then all the old testament promises can be applicable to those of us in psalm 103 the lord heals all my diseases that's a wonderful psalm but many of us we don't know psalm 23 psalm 91 psalm 1 103 and many other psalms there are beautiful promises of god's protection over our enemies over our diseases over our poverty how god will take care of us but for that we have to deal with the consequences of rejecting god's word how do we do that by coming to christ how do we come to christ by accepting our sinfulness and saying lord jesus i am a sinful person i have rebelled against god i have broken your law i have there is not a single law that i didn't break i have broken your law by my thinking i have broken your law by my speaking i have broken your law by my actions but thank god that he sent jesus christ who took away all the penalty of my sins and gave me the freedom so that today i can be free from poverty I can be free from diseases I can be free from enmity not only that the Lord becomes my shepherd and he leads me beside all oh, wonderful places he prepares a table for me in the midst of my enemies my head is anointed by the blessings of God my cup is overfilled and goodness and mercy of the Lord follow the rest of my days wherever I go God's goodness comes after me don't curse but bless me same way he hides me under his wings and no plagues of pestilence can ever come in near my house nor me and then he heals even though i may become sick but he heals all my diseases he redeems my soul from the pit and he fulfills my desires so that my youth is renewed like the eagles he forgives all my sins and he has removed my sins as far as is the east from the west His love is so high as the heaven is from the earth. That's a wonderful psalm. These psalms becomes become beautiful expression of your faith in God when you have made peace with Christ. When you accepted when Jesus died upon that cross, he took all the curse. He took the curse of diseases, he took the curse of poverty, he took the curse of enmity and he took all the sins that brought those curses in your life. And today we are the children of abraham if we are children of abraham we have the blessings of abraham and therefore even though corona virus may come throughout the world we shall not be afraid amen let us praise god for his protection let's close our eyes and thank god for a promise like that that we are not under the curse but we are the children of god's blessing given to abraham by faith in jesus christ Hallelujah we thank